Afternoon everyone. Well, we're in a different reality today. It's a bit ooky pooky out there today. Cold and wet. And we haven't done one of these for a few days. I, I'm Yasumi Kumbawa and... And I'm Arania. And this is our cup of tea chat today. <laughs> Too wet to be outside. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and it's funny, you know, our subconscious is actually in a different mind program. Every time we change realities, the subconscious changes folders and uh, changes everything. So we're sitting inside in a nice warm chair having a cup of tea. And I said to Rania, well, I wonder what we're going to talk to today. And we're both kind of like, well, that's a good idea. So that's, as human beings, we have to realise that when we do change realities, our subconscious ego inside our blinking mind changes folders and um, I may be programmed to think outside but actually when I come inside it's like don't think mate your mother did all the thinking for you and that's a, that's what kind of thing happens and um, you got anything on that? Well just that really you know we we love to get out and have our um have our walk around outside and, and see what's going on in the neighbourhood, that kind of thing. And uh, we've really missed our walk the last few days. And um, just really conscious that we've not had the opportunity to to get on and talk about, you know, just things that are going on um, that we observe um, in ourselves and in, in our clients and other people around us. It, um, yeah, definitely really, really different. It's um, Being at home, it, it's got a different feel to it. So I'm here wrapped in my blanket because I'm freezing. Um, nice hot cup of tea. But we've been just, you know, working all day um, on our computers, setting up programs, courses, emailing, contacts and, and things like that. And um, really missing that opportunity to, to get out and have a bit of a, a fresh air an hour or so outside. Um, we did get a chance this morning to go down and see the, the five little horses in the paddock behind us. Um, so that that was nice, but the the other three days um, being very cold and very wet down here at the Mamaku. Um, so yeah, we're kind of hunkered in and really in lockdown at the moment. Totally, totally different experience for us. Yeah, you can have it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, this reality thing I was talking about, we have six realities. So you can imagine those as if you think of a jukebox, you could think of a jukebox with six different shelves or a filing cabinet with six different shelves or a computer folder with six folders inside of it. And we are always shifting in between these folders. That's why we change. Because depending on what we have in that folder will determine how we are on the outside of ourselves. That's actually... That's what we're talking about, and well, I feel like I'm miles away there. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about in our um, Wednesday tuition class next week. Um, not sure if you're aware of it, but we do a, a subconscious mind pattern clearing uh, tuition class every Wednesday. Um, so we had a, a great night last night looking at different kinds of personality types and how that affects us um, and triggers our buttons with our subconscious patterning. Uh, but next week's topic is going to be around these realities that uh, Yasser has just introduced you to. And we're looking at how uh, those realities impact on us and set off different subconscious patterns as well. So it really comes down to um, where you are at any time, what you're doing and who you're with. And any combination of those will set off different sets of uh, subconscious triggers and bring up patterns to the surface that you, know, you, you may be aware of them or it might be something that completely takes you by surprise but that's next Wednesday uh, if you're ever interested in, in checking out any of our events or what we're up to it's um, they're all on our website so that's www.beinghuman and the human is hu-man.com um, events tab there will, will show you what classes we've got coming up in any week so I'll hand you back to Yasser and he can tell you a bit more about those uh, realities. Good God. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting here very... I'm actually in a red at the moment. That means I'm enjoying the emotional time rather than thinking when I'm outside. I'm more of a thinking person. 
But I'm sitting here having a cup of tea with a rainy out, sheepskin on my chair, and warm and snuggly. Yeah, these realities play a huge part in our, our life. And when you find out what the realities are, like you've got to, you'll know them. You'll know them. It's just that we've put a title on them. These are home realities. So whenever you go home, you play the home programs. There's reality away from home, but still inside. So this covers uh, the classroom, uh, the office, the shop, anything inside a building away from home. That is a, uh, a reality. Outside in nature, like when I go outside and light the fire pit or we go fishing, we're outside in the outside reality. Walk. Yeah, we go for when a we walk, go for our walk away from any building. Which is usually when we do our transmissions. Mm, mm. Yeah. Transition reality in itself is when you travel or when you want to move around or change or shift. And there's a, pro there's a, a whole folder for that. That comes from our birth because that's the first time we ever actually moved in this incarnation and there's two there's two virtual realities there's an in virtual reality which is what you think on the inside of you like daydreaming dreaming insightfulness thinking all happening on the inside of your mind and that's all in a virtual reality and the out virtual reality is when you go to the movies and you can see kind of make believe up on the screen. Social media fits in there too. Social media mm. is huge in there. Reading a book. If you're reading a fictional book, that's something on the outside of you stimulating your mind on the inside. So there's six realities. And whenever you move or wherever you you are, whatever you're doing, wherever it is, you have a folder for it. And you may hear us talk about the red and the blue. They'll be the first things to change. And um, you'll be able to, according to your patterning, you'll be able to do some, something there, but unable to do it at home or able to do it at home, but you're unable to do it out there. That's why we change during these different realities. We have six of them, six majors, okay? A smaller reality is your bedroom, which is actually your bed womb. And when you go to bed, and you snuggle up into a little ball and cover up and, uh, and go to sleep. Well, that's exactly the same as being inside your mother's womb. So whatever happens when you're in bed, you are actually in your mother's womb. So if, if you're unable to sleep, you might have had uh, been very active in your mother's womb and you can't plunk and relax. That's a, so that's a smaller reality that we have. Any yeah, I was just going to expand a little bit on um, what you were saying about the red and the blue. Um, just just imagine, because the blue is that really uh, focused mental mind, um, driven to achieve, um, finish everything you do, succeed. And the red is, like Yasu was saying, he's sitting back in his comfy chair and, and me wrapped in a blanket. We're in our red at the moment because this is comfortable and cosy. Um, we've been in our blue work reality all day um, up to this point, you know, on the computers and interacting with clients. Um, and, yeah, so just imagine if you were at school or in the office or the factory, you know, wherever it is that you might work inside. Um, you go there with a blue mindset. So you go there to, to get a paycheck, um, to get the jobs done that you need to do, to be focused, to fit into a timetable, you know, all those kinds of things. Uh, probably what you would be unlikely to do is to go along with your blanket and your hottie, um, your cup of tea, put your feet up on the table and start reading the newspaper. Now, that would be something that would be a red reality. Um, most people reserve that for home. I, I You know, in my past as a, a school teacher, in the early days, um, I did see the odd teacher who kind of threw that red at school, and that was that was definitely an interesting uh, situation to view. But um, yeah, for the most part, people are generally blue in their work, and a lot of them are are red when they come home from work. Um, so yeah, just clarifying on how those red and blue personalities might fit into the realities. I got a wee one. I got a good one. You got a good one. Yeah, man. She's a female. She's got a job. <clears throat> she goes away from home into, let's say, into a reality 
where she throws a blue and she's organising something on the administration or uh, she's a school teacher, she's a doctor, whatever it is. Now, she's in a blue in that reality. When she comes home, she can't, she's unable to flick red because she's got, let's say, a couple of children. She has to look after the budgeting for the house. She has to organise tea. She has to organise the washing. She has to organise this, clean out the house, do this. Now, she never actually gets a, ch a chance to have a red time. Red time's when we relax and do what Arani and I are doing now, put our feet up and actually take a bit of time to emotionally enjoy ourselves and then we'll get back into another blue mindset. But see, quite often a working female is unable to do that because she works over there in a the blue and when she comes home, she's also in a blue. A blue mindset is a pressurised mindset. Have to achieve, have to do this, I better get that finished, I've got to fold the washing, better do the dishes, this place needs to tidy up, and it's always completing. A lot of males, when they leave the house, they do a blue at work, and they carry responsibility and they achieve. And when they come back, quite often their mind will go, great, I can actually hang up the blue hat now, and put on my red hat, jump in the easy chair, get myself a beer or a cuppa, put my feet up, and relax and that is different from the female I've met a lot of females where they have trouble with reds throwing a red because they are always in a blue reality perhaps they can throw a red when they go down the cafe with their friends but it's it's one for the working females to look for and look at because blue is a pressurized reality and if you're unable to throw a red and let's say take the lid off the boiling potatoes you're going to feel it and it's going to uh, it's going to take its toll that that kind of thing can um can lead to relationship issues as well huh. so you know we we just is saying about the working female that's definitely true we have a lot of clients who feel like they work all day at at their job come home they've got their kids and um, all their household stuff to do as well where that really balances out really well is uh, where both partners are on board and you've got some kind of understanding about the different roles that each of you are playing and that that's more balanced. So, you know, if, if the two of you um, can get in and look after the kids together, sort out the homework, uh, cook dinner, clean up, whatever, and then both sit down once the kids are in bed or you've finished your daily activities, um, then you can enjoy that red time together. So, yeah, mostly the working females this affects, but there are males also who who get that pressure from from home. Um, you know, long hours in the office, and sometimes they've got to come home, have their dinner, and then work late into the night. I've, I've known of several um, lawyers who, who have that kind of uh, lifestyle where they're working very, very long hours. Um, also, so they're going to need that time to just find their red as well so yeah working together um, with your partner um, and with the kids or whoever it is that you live with at home um, to create that blue tone for for when it's necessary but to also provide that red opportunity for each other uh, goes a long way to to building strong relationships anyway so um, we're just about to get back into another blue phase we've got preparation for our Thursday night class tonight it's our awareness and clearing class. It's usually the night where we have a discussion with everyone who turns up, find out what's going on in everyone's world, find the common themes, and then do a massive clearing, which um, which helps us all immensely. So that's what we're about to do, and it's been good to have a chat again today. It's been a while. Uh, looking forward to, to chatting again tomorrow, hopefully. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Cheers, everyone. Did a little bit of insight. Yep. Cool. Have a goodie. Thank you. Bye-bye.